Idaho quadruple murder suspect Brian Koberger will likely take his chances by opting for a trial despite overwhelming evidence, an expert has claimed. Koberger, 28, has been charged with four counts of first-degree murder and felony burglary for his alleged involvement in the murders. The four students were tragically stabbed to death in their beds at their home on Kings Road. Moscow Brian Koberger is seen being escorted to an extradition hearing at the Monroe County Courthouse in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. Koberger has been described by many as a highly intelligent student from Washington State University. Cell phone data revealed in an unsealed affidavit on Thursday show how he stalked the undergraduates for weeks before allegedly stabbing them to death as they slept in their beds. The FBI claims the killer also left behind his DNA on a tan, leather sheath which was lying next to his victims who had been knifed to death. A criminal defense attorney and former Los Angeles County prosecutor has said he will now likely face the death penalty for the murders of 21-year-old students Madison Mogan and Kaylee Goncalves, and friends Santa Kernadal and Ethan Chapin, both 20. The grisly murders took place at a rented home in Kings Road on November 13 and have shaken the small college town of Moscow. A surviving roommate, who heard crying and believed someone had broken in, also saw a masked man who met Koberger's description fleeing the scene. Cops rummaged through the trash at his family home in Pennsylvania and linked DNA after tracking Koberger driving thousands of miles in his dirty Hyundai Elantra. But despite the damning evidence revealed this week, following an exhaustive police investigation, it is understood Koberger will still plead not guilty. His shocked family believes he is innocent and that the police arrested the wrong person, while his lawyer insists he will clear his name. Criminal defense attorney and former Los Angeles County prosecutor Joshua Ritter, a partner with L. Dave Ritter trial lawyers, gave his opinion on the case.